sodium glucose co-transported two inhibitors are the newest class of glucose lowering drugs and these drugs are playing an importantly uh, uh, an increasingly prominent role in the treatment of type 2 diabetes following the reduced risk of cardiovascular disease in, in trials of empagliflozin and canagliflozin. But there have also been uh, concerns regarding the safety of these drugs with signals of serious adverse events emerging from clinical trials, observational studies, and uh, case reports. So the aim of our study was to assess the association between use of SGLT2 inhibitors and seven serious adverse events of current concern. So this was an observational study. We used nationwide data, nationwide registers from uh, Sweden and Denmark, and an active comparator new user design, it's called. It's, you don't compare it to no treatment, you compare SGLT2 inhibitors to uh, another treatment. We chose GLP-1 receptor agonists. And uh, we also uh, used propensity score, uh, a method for adjusting for uh, large number of compounders at the same time, factors associated with both the decision to choose a particular drug and maybe with the studied outcomes. So we used that, these methods to, to create a study population that was um, comparable in terms of patient characteristics between SGLT2 inhibitor users and GLP-1 receptor agonist users. Our final study population included 34,426 patients, half of them used SGLT2 inhibitors. And compared to um, use of GLP-1 receptor agonists, uh, we found uh, twofold increases in risk of lower limb amputation and diabetic ketoacidosis, but no significant risk increase for bone fracture, acute kidney injury, uh, serious urinary tract infection, venous thromboembolism, and uh, acute pancreatitis. First of all, this is an observational study, so the effect estimates seen in our study may be confounded, and, and the data should be used uh, as a complement to uh, clinical trial data. Second, um, as for the lower limb amputation risk, uh, the, it could be further emphasized the importance of counseling patients on preventative foot care, and you may want to monitor these patients uh, if they are high risk at, at these, uh, of these adverse events. You may want to monitor them a bit more. But we should also not let the concerns about serious adverse events, including lower limb amputation, to um, overshadow the, the renal and cardiovascular benefits seen in the trials of, of empagliflozin and canagliflozin, at least. And uh, most of the patients at high risk of amputation also have a high risk of uh, adverse cardiovascular events. So we have to try to take both sides into account when we make clinical decisions. We uh, analyzed SGLT2 inhibitors as a drug class. And the, uh, and the majority of SGLT2 inhibitor use in our study was um, dapagliflozin, 61%, and empagliflozin, 38%, while uh, canagliflozin was very rare. Although many mechanisms that have been suggested for these potential adverse events have been class-wide mechanisms, some of the signals come from individual drugs in the clinical trials, so whether these uh, associations seen in our study uh, are class effects or if they are specific to individual drugs. This is an important question to, to further um, investigate.